Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. We're gonna have an Erin Condren order unboxing today. This was while all of her dated planners were 40% off and she also had a buy one cover, get one free sale during that period too. So I will show you what I ordered and tell you about the purposes, about why I did. So let's get into this. Okay, so all the Erin Condren orders come wrapped this same way which most people have probably already seen. You get a postcard with every Erin Condren order. It comes in a different color with a different saying. You never know which one you'll get. And an enjoy sticker to gift on a gift for someone. All right, let's open this noisy paper. Okay guys, let's dig into what was in this box. I just ordered some more mini snap and bookmarks actually just for me. I think this watercolor motif is my favorite. And because I find myself using these in so many of my Erin Condren's for just different purposes and marking different spots and all the different notebooks and planners I have of hers, I needed a few more because I always like to be able to grab one of these and reach for it. I don't want to not find one there when I need it. So. I threw that into this order and I have talked about on Instagram how much I love these and why I like them better than her magnet page marker. So, and I believe I saved that up in my Instagram stories if you're interested. Um, this is the colorful monthly tabs and I got another set of these even though I think they're way overpriced and I think the deluxe monthly should come with tabs already for the price, but it doesn't this year at least. And so I think, I think it's a ripoff to pay $8 for tabs when you've already paid so much for the deluxe monthly planner, but that's just me. I don't know if other people are feeling that way. And I really hope that next year that she includes tabs on her deluxe monthly, but I ordered a new deluxe monthly and this cover is kind of my very favorite thing out of this entire order. I'm not sure if with the lighting, how this is being picked up but um, we are big Potter fans in our house and I don't think this looks nearly as cool um, with all the glare that's going on in here as it does in person but we love Harry Potter so I put a navy background on her metallic gold her new little lightning bolts and I put mischief managed and if you are a Harry Potter fan then you know why I put that on there but I thought that might be a fun cover. Even I might switch out this cover with my budget um, where I am tracking our budget this year. And if you follow me on Instagram, I am showing that every single month, an update. And I have that up in my Instagram stories saved also. But Mischief Managed, <laughs> I just love it to go with the Harry Potter cover. So anyway, oh, like I said, that might go on the budget notebook. Might, this might be changed out because, I mean, let's be honest, we're trying to manage the mischief with a budget notebook. Okay, so I had to get this cover. And why did I need another deluxe monthly planner? If you follow me, you know I am using one of the deluxe monthlies I have for tracking my budget this year. Or I wouldn't say tracking my budget, tracking my spending. I'm saying that the wrong way. And like I said, I have that in some saved Instagram stories. I'm updating um, every single month and showing you my totals and stuff. I'm tracking spending for the first time, mainly at the three main grocery stores we shop at. But, so that's one of my deluxe monthlies. I got another deluxe monthly because um, I figured out that for homeschool, and I have a whole video about this, that I prefer the deluxe monthly in versus the Erin Condren teacher planner because I'm only homeschooling one child and just the teacher planner was a little bit more than I needed since we use a printed chart also and I explain all of that in my video um, that just recently posted about the Erin Condren teacher planner and how it's gone this year and why I am switching to the deluxe monthly for next year for next school year so now, so what am I gonna use this third deluxe monthly planner for? I am gonna try this. We're gonna see how this goes, but I had an idea that I might like this for my just my daily to-do list. So this would become my daily notebook. 
So what I got in here is I added the extra note pages. You can add in the back. And I figured if I run out, I can just take out the ones I've used. You know, I would have to recoil. And I haven't done that yet, but um, I'm willing to try it. Take out the ones I've used and take some from an Erin Condren notebook and just put them in here. So I can definitely do that. These will be just my daily pages. But the reason why I wanted the monthly deluxe, we'll see how this goes, it's a complete test. Let's just turn here um, to April and I'll show you since that's what we're coming up on. I am not sure if I'm gonna fill out the monthly spreads in here. It's probably too redundant because I already have monthly spreads um, filled out. If you watch my other videos, you know. Um, so I don't really know that I'm going to fill those out in here. We'll see if I feel the need. But this is what I'm going to use. I have really felt like I need my daily list in the same notebook with like a monthly list going on. And so I kind of make a weekly list every week. Um, and I'm not sure if that's going to kind of go here or if the weekly list will just go right before my daily back here. This is going to be a lot of experimenting. We'll just see how it goes. I have this, I just had this inkling I wanted to try it. So it's a complete experiment. But like for April, these would be my main to-do list for such like to call on errands that need to be done in April, things that like honeydews. So one section would be for my husband every weekend so we can like consult that. One section would be for my teenage son, stuff he needs to stay on top of. And so I like how it has the different sections. So for a month, I can just kind of take a quick glance. And then I'm not sure if just like my main to-do list for the month will spill over to here or if I'll start using this for my weeklies um, and maybe just one big, if I have more to-dos that month, weekly list to go here and work off for my dailies. We'll see. So I don't know how this is going to go. I liked the idea of having like it color coded in my big monthly list like here. And then um, I will have one of my bookmarks <laughs> in the back where my daily pages start and start using that for just for my daily to do list that sits next to me on my table. And then I'll have another page marker back here on whatever month we're in. So I can easily flip and keep accessing my list without going to look at another notebook um, or something like that. And so, and also, since the main Erin Condren planner, like my weekly planner, which I use laid out on my desk constantly every week, does not come with many note pages at the back, like literally less than a handful, um, I find myself of just like not having room to write notes that I want to keep down there at my desk and like keep with me. And so I would have plenty of room in here. And like I said, I can add pages to this if I want to uncoil. So we will just see. This is a trial and since this was 40% off, I decided to go ahead and give it a try so I would know if I actually liked it or not since it was just such a great price at 40% off. I wanted to try it at this time. So we are just at the very end of March right now, and we will see how this goes. I will definitely keep you updated on Instagram, and every quarter I do a planning update, so you'll see an update there every quarter. You'll see the second quarter update on how this went, but I will keep you updated on Instagram about that. So that's what this Deluxe Monthly is. I never added pages to my Deluxe Monthly before the extra pages, it doesn't make it too thick at all. This size of ring is actually on my Deluxe Monthly um, that I'm using for tracking my spending, and there's no extra pages in it. So this ring is plenty big. Even if I don't want to take out any of these pages, I can just, I can add pages. So I might be attempting a recoiling if this planner works out. I do have full videos on going over what the Deluxe Monthly is. If you don't know what that is, I'll flip through it really fast but I have a full review video and I will try to remember to link that below. You get a calendar for every month, a monthly spread, sorry. You get these five boxes for every month. You get just these lines and these tick boxes. And then you're going into the next month with a dot grid page. And that goes in the color of the next month. It's the same colors as her weekly planners. 
And she also has a neutral option, the same with her weekly planners. So that's all it is. You go into the next month and then you have that month's five boxes, your lines, your tick boxes, and then you go into the following month. So that's a monthly deluxe. And then all the rest of the pages at the end are just lined note pages. They are perforated, so you can tear them out if you wanted to. So FYI on that, it does come with two sheets of label stickers. And then you do have a folder and a tiny folder right here. And of course you get to pick whatever cover you want to go on there. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be using or trying out the Deluxe Monthly for. Now, I ordered a notebook. This is only my second Erin Condren notebook to ever order. I like it because number one, it comes with a smaller ring than the Deluxe Monthly. I like that in case I ever want to like switch out my Deluxe Monthlies to a smaller ring. It gives me another smaller ring to have. Um, I love this cover I made for like, for it makes me feel like Easter and spring and I put For the Beauty of the Earth from that hymn on there. But let's get into why I ordered this Take Note notebook. I My other notebook from Erin Condren is just lined. It's just straight lines all the way across with like a gray bar at the top. And you can look at those on her site. I wanted to try this productivity um, notebook to see if I liked these pages better for like my daily planning list because it just kind of separates things. And so all these pages are just rotating color, going through colors, and they're all productivity. It's called her productivity pages. So I really like this idea, and if I like this page better for my daily, you know, list planning, then what I would do is uncoil, like I said, and probably put them in the back of this notebook if I'm liking how my monthly deluxe is going for, like, having my monthly list always with me. So if I'm liking how that's going, then, like I said, I would uncoil this. First, I'm just going to try the deluxe monthly and see if I like that lay out for my monthly, weekly list and to keep my dailies there. And if I do, then these will probably be the extra pages that I add back in. But all her paper um, is now, it feels to me like the thick 80 pound GSM, I'm sorry, 80 pound, which equates to 120 GSM paper. So it's very nice paper as long as you don't mind the colors. Oh, and I did not mention, <laughs> sorry, on the back of every productivity page, it's completely lined with just a header. So the back of every single productivity page is like that. So that's what it looks like. And your notebooks, you can't add any extra pages to. This is just how many comes with it, and I can't remember what that is. Um, not on sale. These notebooks are $20, I believe, uh, if you don't get a metallic cover. Um, so, all right. And then... She just has these type of labels in her notebooks, these little um, flag ended labels. And that's it. You don't get a pocket in the notebook. You do not get a pocket and you just get that one sheet of those labels. But to show you the difference in the ring size, you can see. To me, there's the same number of pages in these two notebooks. So I do not know why the Deluxe Monthly needs a bigger ring. But, I mean, I don't think that sticker people put that many stickers in a Deluxe Monthly, do they? Maybe I'm naive to that. I just haven't seen that that much. Most, most people use their Deluxe Monthly. The biggest use I've seen is for budgeting, especially like Dave Ramsey style. But, anyway, there is a ring difference. There's a big ring difference. And I personally just like having the smaller ring that's on the notebook because... Everything just flips easier. And when you're having it flipped over, it's just easier to write. It's easier to flip. It functions better to me. Okay, so those are the notebook and the planner. I already talked about the tabs because I just like being able to flip to my months. So like I said, I paid for the overpriced tabs because a monthly deluxe does not come with tabs. For weekly planners do. And then I just threw in some two covers because it was buy one, get one free. So I kind of couldn't resist since the main point of that was to order the deluxe monthly because it was 40% off. And then I just kept adding stuff in to get free shipping. That's the truth of it. So I really wanted to order the deluxe monthly. And then I thought, okay, well, I wanted to try the productivity pages. 
And then I'm like, well, it's buy one, get one free covers. I might as well just keep adding stuff to get free shipping. So I designed a 4th of July cover because I don't have one for the 4th of July. And I just put USA. And I just designed another spring cover with her cherry blossoms that says, hello, spring. So those are the two covers. Sorry about the glare. Um, I know they're probably not showing up great. And then to bump it up to free shipping, I threw in a few sticker pages and one dashboard. So I don't decorate a whole lot with stickers. If you follow me, you know that. I do enjoy using her um, seasonal sticker book and throwing those on my pages sometimes, especially around holidays. I really like that festive feeling. So I decided to order this one for Mother's Day or Easter, and I would not end up using the whole thing in one year on one spread probably because I don't like my whole page covered in stickers because I'm actually a really functional planner. But around holidays, I do like that festive feeling they give. And then this one, I threw in these two for the 4th of July because I couldn't decide and I needed to bump it up for shipping anyway. And I love the 4th of July. I love just that non-stress holiday, the patriotic feeling that it's the summertime and my boys are all home with me. So I love that time of year. So I'll definitely use both of these in July this year. And I thought for back to school time, this was a fun sticker sheet because honestly, I'm never excited at back to school time. The summer never seems long enough to me. I never get sick of the summer with my boys and my older son is just growing up too fast and time is flying by and I have only a few summers left with them. And anyway, so yeah, I'm never happy for summer to end. So all this to say that I thought maybe this pretty calm, you know, globe sticker sheet that I like might make me feel better about school starting, or at least it would be something to put on that page. And I might feel less depressed when school starts. So that's the story on that one. And then I ordered this dashboard. A dashboard is only one page. Okay. And if you follow me, you will know that I stick an extra dashboard. I just have a random like Thanksgiving cover so that I only use it Thanksgiving time. And I have it stuck in the front of my Erin Condren to house all my cut up sticky notes that I like to have right there to access. And in fact, I will go grab that so that I can show you. Okay, I went and grabbed my Erin Condren Weekly, which always stays laid out on my desk and it's always there. Um, for those that want to know, this cover is exclusive to the Spring Surprise Box. And so it's an exclusive item in there. It's not going to be offered on her site. So I'm sorry. Somebody asked me about that on Instagram the other day. Okay, but anyway, since I changed my covers seasonally quite a lot, I found I had a problem. I like to keep all my sticky notes in here. If you follow me, you know that I love to buy these one and a half by two inch sticky notes off Amazon. So I buy this size of sticky note and recently I found it in this really light blue, pink, and this blue pack. If I didn't want yellow or any bright color, those were my choices. It was a pack that came with all three of these colors. But anyhow, I cut them into thirds like this so they're sticky on each part of it. And then I can just easily pull one up and write a note on it anytime I need to stick something in my planner that maybe the date is going to change on. So I do it a lot on my weekly layouts. And then I usually end up pulling them up. So you won't see a lot of them in past weeks. Um, I end up pulling them up and then writing it in there permanently as it gets closer. But you'll see there's a lot of sticky notes if you start to look in weeks that we haven't gotten to yet. And so I stick them on there if I'm not sure about something. And that way when I get to that point, I can write it in there permanently if I want to, and I can pull those sticky notes off. So for things that I'm not sure that they're gonna happen on that date, or if they'll have to be moved around. Anyway, that's how I use these, and I like them to be right here. I also use them on my big wall calendar, my Inkwell Press desk pad wall calendar. So my problem was, as I changed out my covers every time, I was having to take off all my sticky notes. And I was like, whoa, that's not going to work. So I just took a Thanksgiving cover and I stuck it in here. And it works fine, but I kind of don't always love seeing Thanksgiving. On my sticky notes on there, colors mixed with all these sticky note colors, it's just not the most appealing thing. 
So I thought for a couple bucks, I made a really light colored dashboard. So I like the way it turned out. I just wanted to make it as light as possible. And I can't remember if you could take this off and just have it all print, because I probably would have done that. I think for some reason on this cover, you couldn't take the band off. So that's why I just went ahead and put my channel name. But I like that um, it's just plain. It's plain white on the back. So this is where all my sticky notes will go. And I'm really excited to have this and kind of get the Thanksgiving colors off. So that's just going to go right there. Having an extra dashboard up front does not cause any problems. I mean, in fact, it just makes your book, I mean, it's a little bit more sturdy because it just has two dashboards up here. Her covers are already sturdy though, but it never bothers me. Of course, this book stays open at my desk um, pretty much 99% of the time is what this weekly planner is used for. Stays open on my kitchen desk. So um, anyway, it's not something I'm staring at all the time because I just have to flip there for a sticky note, but this will just make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And people who have talked about the barcode being there and wanting it to be off, it's honestly never bothered me on the covers. I honestly haven't even noticed it. It's not on the Supreme Surprise Box cover. Hmm. That's interesting, but I mean, it is on this Thanksgiving cover. So I'm not sure the story on that. Okay, I just checked for you guys. All my other covers from the orders have a barcode on them, and they have answered that question and said that's the way they track the products going through the warehouse. Um, all my other covers have a barcode. I'm guessing because these went out in spring surprise boxes, uh, they did not need a barcode for that cover, and that's why it wasn't added on there. That makes sense. But, so yeah, that's just something you have to deal with. It's honestly never bothered me. I guess until right now, while I have this plain white dashboard, it kind of bothers me. Um, and I didn't think about that. But I'll just cover it up with sticky notes. Um, I kind of wish that it could be this side that I see grabbing all my sticky notes off all the time, but it can't be. So that's okay. Anyway, I like that it's a white, grayish, generic cover. And I can just easily stick it in here and I will transfer all my sticky notes. Anyway, that gives you guys the gist. I haven't transferred them all yet about how it's going to look on here. I love it so much better on this white. And I just love how it's not going to clash with whatever cover I have on my planner. And I just love her mid-century circles, even in a light, light gray and white. So anyway... That's why I ordered that dashboard. I love the way it looks already. I'm going to transfer all these over there too. And that's it, guys. Sorry, I kind of made this haul into a really long explanation video. <laughs> and that's it. Happy planning, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.